All right. First day in the new apartment. Hopefully my neighbors upstairs aren't a little too loud. Welcome, welcome. I have such a wonderful present for you boys and girls tonight. Do you love old buildings? Do you love blind priests? Latin? Well, I have such a movie for you boys and girls tonight. Because tonight, I bring you the Sentinel. <laughs> now, the case may not be as appealing with the vibrant colors cheesy, low-budget look, and somewhat spoilers. But hey, so much easier to look at than my exes. <laughs> the beginning of the movie starts off in Northern Italy, or Idly, depending how you pronounce Italian salad. Jeff Goldblum is here to take pictures only one year before turning into a pod person. Here we're introduced to our protagonist, Allison, a working model who's been having hot flashes and headaches and doesn't know why, and currently she's dating Chris Sarandon? Well, don't worry, Allison, your relationship with him should be somewhat rocky, knowing his night life with a fright night. So, after deciding that her and her current boyfriend should be living separately, her father passes away and decides to move to a new apartment. There is somebody staring at me from that fifth floor window up there. Oh, I'm sure you've been stared at before. Yes, but... That's Father Harron in 5A. He's been here for years. He's a priest. He's kind of senile. Look at these big-ass goddamn doors! <gasps> but at least they have exciting parties with a nice party and friend. Addison encounters these other people in the house, only to discover her and the priest are the only people living in the apartment. So, who are these other guests? Quite frankly, it reminds me of when I spent the time at Rosemary's baby shower. <laughs> you go to McDonald's, do you want anything? Y yeah, I, I have six-piece nuggets. What kind of sauce? Hot mustard, of course. They don't sell hot mustard anymore. Lisa, I went there last week. I know for a fact they still have hot mustard. Okay, I'll try. Okay, thank, thank you. Anyways. <laughs> the Sentinel. This movie likes to keep you on your toes. On what's going on. What's going to happen next. Why are all these things happening? Did she imagine it? Did she imagine that she saw her father inside her house? even though he's been dead for three weeks. I do love the fact that the story is somewhat vague. The more ominous, the more spooky it is. Especially when Chris Sarandon decides to snoop about the priest's history. The movie doesn't give you too much information. There's not a whole lot of story about the building itself. And if so, why are all these monsters and dead people arriving at specifically this building? So without spoilers, all in all, it's another creepy 70s horror flick. Reminds me a little bit of The Omen, to where it's all about fulfilling a fantasy and religious aspects. As a matter of fact, speaking of The Omen, is that Damien I see right there? And that about does it for me today, kiddies. Just remember, make sure to lock your doors and...
just now you get here. I've been sitting here for years. Any idea how bad you had to take a piss? Gee, I'm not going to wait. Oh, 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 oh. 